what's up? Welcome to my channel. I'm Aaron. I play the guitar and this is ASTV. Welcome to another episode of What's Up Wednesdays and in this video, we are going to talk about the JHS Double Barrel version 3 and how it fares this 2022. So let's get into it! The JHS Double Barrel is a relatively old dual overdrive, but in this video, we are going to see if it is still usable in 2022. Stick until the end of this video because I am going to share with you ideas on how you can use this with other effects on your pedal board. I'm using my PRS S2 guitar going into my pedal board, plug in straight into my audio interface. My signal chain is as follows. I'm using an AI gate, a couple of overdrives that we are going to use later, an effects loop which goes to the double barrel, black twin amp simulator, its matching cabinet, and the parametric EQ. You have seen the demo song at the beginning of this video. So now let's take a look at the pedal and let's do some knob twisting. As I've mentioned, the JHS is a dual overdrive. The left side is the Morning Glory, which is a transparent overdrive. Its controls are volume, drive, tone, and a bright cut switch. I'm on the split coil neck position with everything at noon and the bright cut switch turned off. Here's what it sounds like. On the bridge humbucker pickup. With the bright cut switch turned on on the neck position. On the bridge pickup. For the knob twisting. We now head to the right side which is the JHS-808. Its controls are volume, drive, tone, and a gain toggle. The gain toggle has three modes. It goes from least to most saturation. 
The mode with the least saturation also has the most volume. First level is on the center. I won't be able to turn up the volume pretty much because it is already clipping. On the bridge pickup. On gain level 2, which is the top position, Gain level 3, which is the down position. The switch at the middle toggles which pedal goes first. If it is pointed to the right, the 808 goes first and goes into the Morning Glory. If it is pointed to the left, the Morning Glory goes first. Here is what the Morning Glory going into the 808 sounds like. Here is what the 808 going into the Morning Glory sounds like. We now head to the ideas you can use for the JHS Double Barrel version 3. I will be discussing this from clean to dirty. First idea is using the Morning Glory as an always on pedal. Since the Morning Glory is a transparent overdrive, you can pretty much leave it turned on all the time and add variations to your tone using the pickup selector or the volume knob of your guitar. With these settings, on the neck call split position, I can achieve a pristine clean sound. 
Here's what my guitar sounds like with the morning glory turned off. With it turned on. It added more character to the tone and it made the guitar more present. With the same settings on the Morning Glory, putting my neck pickup into Humbucker, we can achieve something like this. This also sounds cool with a couple of delay. The delay I used was the Boss DD500. I will be making a separate video for this pedal, so make sure to watch out for that episode. With the same settings on the Morning Glory, on the bridge pickup, we can achieve a very light crunch. It is a very light crunch in applying dynamics. If you play softer, it gets cleaner. Roll back our volume. And if we bring up the volume again, so you can see it is very dynamic and very versatile. If we add the 808 to the Morning Glory, with these settings, you can achieve a heavier crunch. Furthermore, if we add an additional overdrive before the double barrel, for example, a Magic T from the Hoton Ampere 2 Stump, we can achieve a more saturated tone. Which is also usable as a lead tone. Using these same settings, the double barrel also works well if it is used before a distortion. For this example, we will be using the Strymon Riverside, which sounds like this. Together with the Morning Glory, it sounds like this. As you can hear, it added more oomph, more meat to the tone. And of course, if we only add the 808 to our distortion, as you can hear, it added mid frequencies to the tone. But if we would add both the Morning Glory and the 808 into the equation, we can come up with a creamy tone, which is a saturated crunch and a beautiful lead tone. So there you have it! This is the JHS Double Barrel Dual Overdrive Pedal and these are just some of the ideas on how you can use this in 2022. JHS only manufactures the version 4 of this pedal but you can still find the version 3 perhaps on Craigslist or on Reverb. I found mine on the used market on Facebook 
and this is definitely a great addition to my pedal board. If you find value in this video, please hit the like button, leave a comment below, and don't forget to subscribe. Hit the notification bell as well so that you'll be updated the next time I upload a video. Please help me reach 1000 subscribers before the year ends. This would only be possible with all your love and support. Stay tuned for more episodes of ASTV, stay safe, and I will see you in the next video. Peace out.